Hello everyone. Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, Big T Farms. How's everyone doing today? I hope good. Well, I uh, changed my mind. I do that a lot. Uh, swathing and and with the loss prevention on the back of the combine, I cannot beat those numbers on harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and I have to swath up this one, the wheat field. I'm going to use this for flour in the production down there so I can keep the pizza going. And then I am also going to swath up the canola also. And then that will go into the oil production for canola oil. Yeah, I do change my mind a lot, but I couldn't beat those numbers on that barley harvest. <laughs> that, that'll... Those were good numbers. That'll keep the chickens fed and I won't have to worry about them for the year. And then, like I said, the flour that this wheat will make will make me good money in the pizzeria. So, that being said, I'm gonna get to her. Well, we're all uh, swathed up and ready to go. Uh, I had the shop come and uh, put a uh, bigger hopper on the combine. Um, I think it'll hold a little over 18,000 liters now. Barely fits in the shop, but it fits. So I'm gonna get this all parked up, put away, and then uh, I'm grabbing the combine in the truck and I'll meet you at the field. Well, I get the harvester out of the shop, and of course, what do I hear? This excessive beeping. I'm out of gas. So I'm gonna fill up with gas. Yeah, you, oh my gosh, the beeping is driving me absolutely bonkers. There we go, filling her up. All right, looks like I got my, my gas. Now I can get to swathing. 
Oh my gosh, that beeping was driving me bonkers. All right, let me get around here to the start of this. Oh boy, probably gonna hit my water trailer here. No, well, we'll just start this way. There we go. We'll get this down and get her going. Hopefully this yields just as good as the barley did. Get out of here, crows. All right, I'm gonna get the harvest in here. Uh, I've got a, quite a bit to do. I'll see you in a little bit. gonna finish up the last little bit of weed here I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the silo dump her in and I'll show you all the totals at the end of the day and then I'm thinking I'm gonna put barley in this field this time this next round after I get it all climbed up and taken care of and then, uh, yeah keep that production going down there yeah because that factory is keeps the pizzeria going with the flour take her over there to the grain mill we'll head up here to the truck and I'll dump her off corn's looking really good over there alright we'll slowly make it up there gotta put it in We'll start working on the uh, canola. Well, I forgot to tell y'all, we got the soybeans in the ground. Uh, I was running out of time and uh, I needed to get them put in. They don't look too bad over there right now. Nice and green. That's going to be a good money crop over there. Yes, sir. All right. We'll be harvesting up the canola here. And hopefully this yields good, too. And then uh, I'm going to put canola back in this ground again. So, and uh, hopefully the productions pay off for me in March. That way I can have enough money to probably buy a bigger harvester for the beets because I got that large beet field over here on the other side and I need some uh, square baler also for uh, doing bales I don't know though I'm pretty good with the baler I got actually it works pretty good I've already got a tether so I don't see why I couldn't use it hmm. always trying to spend money See you in a little bit. Well, we're finishing up the last little bit of the canola, so I'm gonna load this up in the truck. I'm gonna take the combine up and uh, park it. Take that up to the production up there and get my canola oil started. Then I'll probably head back to the silo and take the wheat up there also and get it. See if we can get the auger lined up here. I'm kind of a little too close. Back here a little bit. Now, maybe. There we go. All right. Got the auger all lined up. I'll show you guys the totals in the silo, and then I'm going to take them up to the productions. Be right back with you. Well, there we go not too bad off that little field i got 90,000 liters of wheat and off the other field i got 89,000 liters of canola 
and I still have 260,000 liters of oats also. So I might just go ahead and take that oats down there to the, to the grain mill and dump those out and I'll keep that wheat and barley for the chickens. And then the canola, I'm gonna take it down there also and uh, put it in the production, but not bad. And then I'm gonna replant probably both of these again, maybe the wheat and the canola. I might plant again. So, all right, well, let's uh, get back up here and uh, let's load this up. So I'm gonna load up with oats real quick. Sneak in here real fast. We'll load up with oats here. We'll take these down. I forgot I even had that from the last harvest I had down there. Holy smokes, that's a lot. All right, this thing's gonna fill up for a little while. So, hmm, I need to go check on some stuff. Be right back. Well, I said I was gonna take all of it down there, but uh, it's still got some left in there. So let's just take uh, 200,000 liters down there. That should keep it for a while. So we're gonna make a trip down through town and uh, be right back. Gotta drop this off and then we're gonna head back, go grab the canola, put it in the production and then uh, see where we're at. All right, got that dropped off. Let's go grab that canola and we'll get her going. All right, while the canola's filling up, I'm gonna go inside. I told you I was gonna get another baler. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna tell the shop to uh, get me another baler. Well, I got a call. Uh, they had a used one down there. So I just picked up a used one. But I got a little surprise. She's uh, gonna be Using the old international. I feel like it's been neglected. All it's been doing is little chores around the farm. So I got me a baler for it. So I can get me some sun while I'm doing uh, grass work. So I'm gonna take, go down there. Probably next episode I'll be doing some hay work. Maybe some moving of production, I don't know. But we'll be doing something next episode. I'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna get down here to the oil production down here. We'll get this dumped off. Well, we're gonna head back up to the farm. I uh, might be doing it for today. I've gotta check the fields, see what they need. I uh, picked me up a new plow for the big stiger and uh, bought a new field and got a new planter. Yeah, mm. March is gonna be good also. Yep. The juice going, the pizza going, even we got some other businesses going. It might make me some good money. So, with that being said, have a good morning, afternoon or evening, whenever you all are watching. Big T Farms in Alma, Missouri. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later.